Welcome to this series on solving simultaneous equations. Do you know what simultaneous equations are? They are simply two equations that we want to solve at the same time, but more of that later. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify a linear equation, define simultaneous equations, find an ordered pair that is a solution to the system of linear equations in two unknowns. Let's start by looking at this problem. Liz and Paul are friends. How old do you think they are? Well, impossible to guess? I know these two friends and I'll tell you something. The total of their ages is 20. How could you work out their ages? This problem was pretty simple. I just guessed the answer. I looked for two numbers which added together would get to 20. I thought that Liz could be 8 and Mpo would be 12. Or Liz could be 19 and Mpo could be 1. Although these ages are unlikely, just looking at them, True. So maybe if one friend was 11, then the other is 9. All the ages could be 15 and 5. Actually, I found about 10 different ways to add two numbers to get to 20. Great! All of those answers worked out to get a total of 20. But it doesn't get us much closer to a definite answer. How old are these children? I have some more information to help you. I know that Mpo is 2 years older than Liz. Okay, well, that changes everything. Now I know that lots of my answers won't work. So I'll have to choose one where the number differs by two. So it's this one here, the one with 11 and 9. But Mpo is older. So Mpo will be 11 and Liz will be 9. Great! Wesley chose the answer that fits with both sets of information. Now what he did has given us a good idea of what simultaneous equations are all about. Now is there a different way to get to this answer? What do you think? I'm sure Haley has an idea. Let's see how she has tackled this. I remember that it helps to use a letter like say x to stand for one of the ages. So I said let Liz's age equal to x. So then Mpo's age will be x plus 2 because she is 2 years older. So Liz's age plus Mpo's age is equal to 20. So x plus x plus 2 is equal to 20. Adding the x's, I get that 2x plus 2 is equal to 20. And then I subtract 2 from both sides. So 2x is equal to 18. Um, I divide by 2 on both sides. So x is equal to 9. Therefore, Liz's age is equal to 9 and Mpo's age is equal to 9 plus 2 which is 11. The learners use different methods but both their answers are correct. Wesley used a trial and error method, Haley used an equation in one unknown. This question was pretty easy to solve really. Now I want to use the same question to show you another method of solving the same problem. This method will give us a tool for solving simultaneous equations that involve larger numbers. We're going to use graphs to find the solution. So I will use two unknowns instead of just one unknown as Haley did. Because we usually use an x-axis and a y-axis on the Cartesian plane, let's use the unknowns x and y. Let x represent Liz's age in years and let y represent Mpo's age in years. Now, can you make an equation using x and y with the information that we have? 
It often helps to write the information in words first, so then you can set up a formula from the words. Their ages added together gives us 20. So the sum of the girl's age is 20. That means that Liz's age was x and Paul's age was y. And we can write x plus y is equal to 20. And we know that Paul is two years older than Liz. Think about it. We can write that Liz's age plus 2 is equal to Mpo's age. This means that x plus 2 is equal to y. Right, now I want to take a moment to explain what we mean by working with simultaneous equations. Simultaneous equations are a set of equations that you deal with all at once or at the same time. Back to our example. What type of equations have we used? Let's look more carefully at the formulae that we set up. So we can call x plus y equals 20 our first equation. x plus 2 equals y is then our second equation. Firstly, in each equation there are two variables, namely x and y. There are also no terms involving x squared or y squared or any other higher powers of these unknowns. The unknowns are only raised to the power of 1. Also, there are no terms with x times y. Right, so what type of equations do we have? We are working with linear equations. And if we are going to solve this example using graphs, what type of graphs do we expect to get from linear equations? I hope you still remember that the graphs of linear equations are straight lines. So we have to deal with these two linear equations together in order to solve our problem. We'll start by drawing the graph of one formula, x plus y equals 20. An easy way to draw this graph will be to see what happens at the point where x equals 0 and at the point where y equals to 0. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 20. So we can write then y is equal to 20. When y is equal to 0, we see that x is equal to 20. So the x-intercept is 20. This means that the graph cuts both axes as 20. Let's plot these points. So here on the y-axis we mark the point 0 and 20 and on the x-axis here we mark the point 20 and 0. So we know that this is a linear equation so I can simply join these points with a straight line. Now, look at the graph we have. What information does this line represent? It shows that every point on this line, if we add them together, will give us a sum of 20. Another way of saying this is that the solution to this graph x plus y equals 20 can be found anywhere on this line. For example, if I take this point here, the x value is 2. The y value is 18. We know it's a solution because 2 plus 18 gives us 20. Now let's look at another point. Let's say here. If I'm reading it off, I'll estimate this to be 12 comma 1. And reading off this way, it's about 7 comma 9. So this point is also a solution to this graph. What about this point here? Do you think that this is a solution? This point is not a possible solution. Can you think why? This point has a negative y value here. Now we know that x and y represents the ages. Do you think that Mpoh or Liz could be negative one years old? Of course not. So we know that this line has to end here 
and here. We need to solve these two equations simultaneously, so we deal with them together by drawing them both on the same Cartesian plane. Let's draw the graph of the second equation, x plus 2 is equal to y. First we find the intercepts on the axes. So, the y-intercept is 2. I can plot these points on the x-axis and y-axis. This point here is negative 2 and 0. This point here is 0, 2. Again, I can join the points with a straight line because we used a linear equation. Let's label this line. Remember, we're working with ages, so again, we can ignore the negative values here. Now, a solution for simultaneous equations is any point that lies on both the lines. So if we choose this point here, we can see that this point is not a solution because it does not lie on either of the lines. Now, if we look at this point here, this point is also not a solution because it lies on only one of the lines. What point lies on both the lines? It is the point of intersection of the two lines. So it is the solution to our system of equations. Let's call this point F. And reading off the values, we get this to be 9 and this point to be 11. This shows us that Liz's age, which was x, is 9 and Paul's age, which was y, is 11. So the solution to our system of equations here is the point F911, since it satisfies both the equations. Now let's recap what we've learned today. In this lesson, we used a simple problem that didn't even need all this work. But I hope you saw how this helped us to understand what it means to solve simultaneous equations using graphs. Do you think there are other ways to solve simultaneous equations? Definitely! There are two very useful algebraic methods to use. We'll look at these methods in other lessons in the series. Why don't you see if you can find out what these methods are? In our next lesson, we'll use what we know about finding solutions using graphs. Till then, goodbye!